Hey everyone, welcome back to Why You Were Cleaning. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this nativity scene using products from the Dollar Tree. All of the items that you see in today's video will be from the Dollar Tree except for the fabric, the fabric I already owned, but you can find some items to use for fabric at the Dollar Tree. They do have some fabric pieces now. You can use t-shirts, socks, ribbon, things like that. I hope you enjoy today's video. If you do, please hit that like button, please comment and subscribe and we'll go ahead Head and get started. I'll be using these wooden beads for the heads to my people and animals. So first off I'm going to go through and pull out all of the different sizes that I need. I used six of the largest beads for Joseph, the two shepherds, and the three wise men. And then the next smallest bead I used two, one for Mary, one for the angel. The next smallest bead I used four for my four animals and then I had one of the smallest beads for baby Jesus. I spray painted all of my beads with this ultra matte white color. You can hand paint these as well. I had them on these skewers so that I could spin them and paint all the sides at once and I did add two coats of spray paint to these. For two of these smaller beads that are going to be for the heads of my animals, I'm going to paint one in a brown color and then one in a gray color. I'll be using one of these wooden houses for my stable and I'm going to cover the back of it with this contact paper. It's in the lighter wood color from Dollar Tree. I traced the outline of the house on the back of the contact paper and then I went back through and cut it out. If you can no longer find one of these houses or you don't have one on hand, you can also use a shadow box from Dollar Tree. This piece is just slightly too big to fit in the back of the house, so you have to go back through and trim about a fourth of an inch off of each edge of the contact paper to make it fit. You could also measure this, but I didn't feel like taking the time to measure, so you can just trim a little bit at a time until it fits. Once you have the contact paper trimmed to the right size, you can go ahead and peel the back off. You can really start from any side of this. I decided to start from the point and I did have to adjust it a few times to make sure that it was laying correctly and covering all the way up to each edge. Once you have it in place the way you like it, you can go back through and smooth it down and work out all of the bubbles. Next, I'll be adding one of these gold star stickers to the front of my house. You may have to use some hot glue to keep it in place. The sticker isn't super strong. For the bodies of all of my people and animals, I'll be using these wood cube blocks. If you don't have these at your store, you can also use the blocks from the Tumbling Tower game. I used hot glue to hold all of my blocks together. You could use a different glue as well. They are going to be covered with fabric, so that helps to hold them together. I put together six stacks of three blocks for all of the men in my nativity scene, and then two sets of two blocks for Mary and the angel, and then two sets of two for two of my animals, two single blocks, and then I have a bead for the body of my baby Jesus. I'll be using this gray faux fur to make a donkey and this is going to cover a set of two of those blocks and what you want to do is cut out a rectangle of fabric large enough to cover five of the six sides of these blocks. So you're just going to be leaving one long side empty but then you need to cut out the four corners so that your end flaps can fold in and cover the five sides, just leaving one uncovered. And then I used hot glue to hold the blocks in place. So you can set your blocks in the center and then fold in each of the sides and the ends to cover up the blocks, leaving one side open so that your donkey can sit upright. I used the gray bead for the head of my donkey and I cut some gray flannel into the shape of two ears and then pushed that in place in the center of the gray bead. I added some glue in there as well and then I glued this bead in place on the end of my gray body. 
I used some brown faux fur to cover my other set of two blocks. I cut this out in the same way as I did the gray fur and I cut out those four corner shapes and then I added some hot glue and glued it in place. For the ears of the cow, I used some brown fleece and I just used two small separate pieces. You could do it either way, two separate pieces or one large piece. You just want something that's going to hold a little bit more upright. And then I added both of these inside of the top of the bead and then glued the bead in place. Making the sheep is very similar to the other animals, except I'll be just covering one block. And I don't know why I kept drifting off the side of the screen here. I was really focusing on cutting this, I guess. But you can see here it's an X or a plus sign shape. And then you can add your block to the center and then glue it in place. Just pull off any excess that there might be. And then we'll use one of these white beads for the head of the sheep and then you can cut off some of that excess fur so it's not quite so fluffy and then I'm going to use some white felt for the ears of my sheep. Once I got these ears to the shape that I liked, I folded them in half and then twisted the end of them pretty tightly. I added the glue in place first so it was ready for me and then I pushed it in place in the top of the bead and then you can go through and add some glue to each side to fold the ears down. To clothe one of the wise men, I used this blue velvet type fabric. I cut it so it was just long enough to go from one end of the set of three blocks to the other. This fabric doesn't really fray, so I didn't have to worry about the ends of it fraying at all. And then I glued it in place around the set of three blocks. Each of the three wise men are in a nicer velvet type fabric the dark navy blue, the silver, and then this green color. And then I didn't cover either end of these sets of blocks. For Joseph, I used this darker burgundy fabric and I cut it a little long on each end so that I could fold it over to prevent it from fraying. I did this with any of the lighter fabrics that might fray for Joseph, for Mary, for I think both of the shepherds I did this just to keep those ends nice and clean without a bunch of threads sticking out on them. So you just have to leave it a little bit long, fold it over, glue it in place, and then you can glue your blocks down the center just like you did with the wise men. Next, I glued my largest white painted beads on one end of each of these blocks to use as the heads. And I used those largest beads on Joseph, the three wise men, and the two shepherds. This is one of my shepherds, and I'll show you how to add a cape to the top when I make Mary, but I also tied some twine around the center as a belt. For my other shepherd, I used a rectangle faux fur piece just to add a little bit something different to it. And this was pretty simple just to glue in place. And then for the hat of this shepherd, I added a round gray circle and then I'm going to come back through with some string and add a little bit of detail. This string is also from Dollar Tree and I cut it long enough so that it could go around his head twice. I didn't add quite enough glue to hold that gray circle piece in place. So I had to go back through and add a little bit more around it. And then I used very small drops of hot glue to hold this string in place. I really didn't want it oozing out the sides or showing very much. So then I just added it as I worked this string around the shepherd's head two times just to add a little bit of something different to the hat. For two of my wise men, I made some different round hats. So for one, I used this gray faux fur and I added some glue and folded it in half. And then I added some glue along one side so that I could roll it up in a circle. For the other wise men, I made it in the same way, but I used brown fleece. And then to put the hats in place, I just added some glue to the top of the head and pressed the round circle on top. 
For my angel, I used this white lace and it was just wide enough so that I could fold it in half and it wouldn't be too long on my set of two blocks. So then I just glued it in place around the two blocks. For my angel's wings, I used a piece of white felt because it would hold its shape. So I cut it down to a nice rectangle shape, folded it in half so that I could cut both wings at the same time, and then just did my best to cut out an angel's wings shape. I glued the angel's wings in place on the back of my set of blocks, and then I added the round white head. This is one of the next smaller bead pieces. For the halo, I used a piece of gold pipe cleaner. I wrapped it around a pencil to get that tiny round shape. And then I left a little bit extra so that I could twist the two sides together. And then when I was happy with the shape, I cut it off. And then all I did was slip it down the center of that white bead. For Mary, I covered her set of two blocks with this striped fabric and then used another one of those next smaller size beads for her head. Then I added some glue and this square piece of fabric. I cut this fabric big enough so that it could come down both of her sides and then I trimmed off the excess so that it wasn't dragging on the ground. And you can see as I'm trimming it here that it is a rounded shape around the back. And then I went through with my hot glue gun and I first glued it down on both sides so that it would be flat. And then I just glued it down in a few places on the back so it just wasn't sticking out on each side. Once that was glued in place, I used some of this natural colored string. I cut it big enough to go around her head just once and then used just a small amount of glue in a few places around the head to hold the string in place. For baby Jesus, I used this tiniest white bead and glued it to a bead that's the next size up. And then I added this gray flannel fabric. I first glued it onto the top of the head bead and then I glued it on both sides of the head. And then I just worked my way gluing it around the body. Once you get the front of the fabric in the way that you like, you can go through with your scissors and cut off all of that excess fabric. It would just be way too much to glue onto this tiny bead. So once you cut off the excess, you can just go through and glue the rest of the fabric down. Next, I'll be putting together a bed for baby Jesus using these popsicle sticks. I cut them down to about one and a half inches in length and I started out with two matching pieces and I'm going to glue these together with hot glue into a V shape and then I cut a third piece that was the same length as these. This piece is going to go right along that bottom ridge so that it can hold it upright. Next, I'm going to add another popsicle stick of the same length on each side to make it a little bit deeper of a bed. So first, I needed to add some small pieces on each side to use as supports, and then I added some glue onto those and onto the existing side piece to make the sides a little bit taller. I then added some of this brown Spanish moss into my bed to look like hay and then trimmed off all of the pieces that were sticking out the sides. All of the pieces to the nativity scene are Joseph and Mary. Next is the angel. A bed for Jesus. The tiny baby Jesus. Then I made two shepherds, two sheep, three wise men, a donkey, and a cow. And that is all for today's video. I really hope that you have enjoyed it. Please tag me or send me any photos if you decide to make one of these nativity scenes for yourself. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you have enjoyed today's Dollar Tree DIY and I'll see you next time. Bye!